for another run. Uh, last one now. Let's have a look at this thing. Less sound, more full screen. Does it capture? Apparently not. Not right away. Okay. This game is difficult to capture. Do this with it. Um, bam bam needs windowed. Okay, can only capture desktop. Flicky flicky, okay, no full screen. Let's do it old school. Need to find a capture method for this one. But let's try it, apart from that. Um, return, yeah, right. Ah, so lovely, I see titties. Ah, this is gonna be difficult. Every person has a dream they wish to pursue. Yet, as people grow up, they often come to realize the truth. Dreams are nothing more than fairy tales. At least, that's what most people say. Then, what about those who en do end up accomplishing their dreams? Are they merely incredibly lucky? Dad. Holy smokes! The music, really? Ah! Uh, so passive-aggressive. Really? That's it? Oh man. Sorry, it was blowing my brains out. Ah. Shush, shush. You. Dead. Every man has a dream he wants to accomplish. Whatever. There's something really important you should know, my bow. Oh yeah, Dad is saying that now. Every man doesn't give up on his dream, no matter what overwhelming challenges he might have to face. I still remember these foolish words my dad used to say, but despite their silly nature, I found myself inspired by them. Ever since I was a young child, I have been interested in martial arts, ah, because why not? It didn't matter whether I watched a match on television or read a manga about some heroic martial artist. It's always been my dream to become a martial artist one day. Of course, it was a bit child of me to think that I would become a hero simply by learning martial arts. Even though I already understood that superheroes were nothing more than figments of imagination, I still had a desire to use my strength for the sake of others. My name is Gushin Takiko. A uh, 17 year old rising judo star. And no, that's not me bragging. Oh, oh. 
I'm actually about to take part in a tournament two weeks from now. What could make to break my career on an international level? Of course, I was excited f about the opportunity to finally accomplish my dreams and represent my country in a sport that I loved. But the same excitement also made me feel incredibly nervous. And while those worrisome thoughts haunted my mind, a familiar voice resounded from outside of the window. Kuyumi. Oi, Takakun, get your butt in gear. Okay, okay, I'll be right there, Kuyumi. Is Kuyumi a friend? Not wanting to keep Kuyumi waiting, I did quickly dash towards the front door to let her in. Oh, it's a her even. Not even realizing that I still was in my pajamas. Oh, snap! Hold on a second, Kuyumi. Gotta grab my shoes before I head off school. Really? I never realized our school had a strict uniform or sleepwear policy. Nice jammies, by the way. Did you borrow them from your mom? For a moment, my eyes drifted downwards, noticing that there were, uh, I was indeed wearing my pajamas. I let out a groan of annoyance and marched back towards my room. Bah. There's nothing wrong with my jammies. The Golden Knight is a famous comic book hero in the West. Besides, not everyone prefers to sleep naked like you. Oh. Mumbling these words, I started stripping off my clothes, not particularly minding the pre presence of a girl behind me. That only happened once. You know very well that it was super hot that night. It's super hot. Hot, 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 hot. And jeez, warn me before I stream naked in front of me, you idiot. I don't care, I do what I want. You don't seem to mind it when we were little. Maybe you want me to turn around instead? Yeah, that that would be a stop. No, stop, don't make me kick your ass. I decided I had teased her enough and quickly pulled up on my pants, proceeding with the remaining few items of clothing before it was suitably dressed for school. We're only a few seconds in and clothes are being dropped. Besides, I had a reason to be for being so distracted. You have been distracted a lot lately. What's going in a uh, hollow school of yours? Whoops, that was a scroll button. Intense. Oh, oh, I can't. I can apparently scroll backwards. It's that upcoming match. I have no idea how anyone can remain calm when an international career is still at stake. I wouldn't be surprised if I have made up enough doomsday scenarios to fill up the uh, apocalypse genre. Alright, the shooter thing. I'm sure you're going to be fine. I've seen some of your matches, and you kick butt. Of course, if you're really worried, you could always pray. Am I the praying type? What? Don't tell me you don't know. It's one of the school's legends. Apparently, there's some shrine in the forest that, if you pray to it, brings us. Oh, pagan gods! Uh, if you're talking pagan gods, we can pray. Iwachi san said that the sisters prayed it to the night before the exam, and she got a perfect score! Hey! We all should do that! Because. Someone has some versions to up the uh, sacrifice? A shrine that is said to bring you good luck sounds like bogus to me, but at this point I'm willing to try anything I guess. Of course, of course. I'll ask Ishiviratan I can't I can't speak these names. I'm not exactly in the mood to get lost in the forest and end up in a modern day Tarson. Well whatever. If you're a go looking, at least send me a message to let me know. And will you hurry up? We're going to be late again. A hero is never too early, nor are they too late. They arrive precisely when they are needed. Wow, wow. I'm definitely a nerd. But for the sake of avoiding detention, let's hurry. That's a wizard, not a. Oh, oh, sorry. That's a wizard, not a hero genius. How can any person be such a sports net and such a geek at the same time? I don't know. I don't know. 
Let's not forget the Casanova and Man of the Year's candidate bits, their important details. Oh, I'm quite a player, am I? I doubt you will qualify for any of them. Pajama boy. Anyway, let's boldly go where everyone has, has gone before. To school! Uh, nerd. Uh, girl. <laughs> Several hours later. Later that day, I finally got the chance to talk to my classmate about the location of the shrine that Gormi had mentioned earlier. Jim was the last thing on the schedule for today, so once people got ready to go home, I approached the guy. Hey, Ichi, 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 hey Ichi, is it true that your sister discovered some shine? They said it would be brilliant luck. Oh, let me guess, you wanted to date her? Well, even though I do have to admit this, she's not very attractive, I'm afraid she's already going out with someone. Not to mention, you're not her type. Ichi, I already got my hands full leanings with Komi. You can keep your sister to yourself, Joker aside. I'm more interested in that shrine. Uh, did you mention where she found it? Uh, did you know there were anything near the forest, aside from the dojo? Uh, well, she said, she said something about it being near a river, and quite high up. Uh, to be honest, I wasn't paying too much attention when she was going about it. I mean, she was wearing this top and it was tight! And... Stop, stop, seriously, don't need to hear the details. I doubt anyone else is interested, so do you know anyone who might have heard about the shrine? Oh, you guys are talking about that lucky shrine out in the forest? That the one and only. According to Ichi's sister, there's supposed to be one near a river. I don't know about that, but there's a fairy, fairy girl at the Asuka Dojo who knows more about it. Wait. Are you talking about Ijazama? About this tall, ridiculously strong and super scary? That's the one. Oh, in that case, uh, it still can be a fact. Taki, uh, ta Takashiro, Takahiro, Sukun. I know where that place is. Of course you do. We both do. Just want to take it along, don't you? I don't think Aya Senpai will appreciate you visiting her with your usual tricks in mind. Do I need to remind you what happened last time you tried to peek at her after she finished practice? Blood, sweat, tears. Sh shut up, don't peep on I don't peep on it, ladies. That's slander, you know. I assure you, I would never look up on Sama's glorious body in any state of nudity. Oh man. That's intense stuff. Uh, oh, okay. So you haven't seen a naked yet. Why do we have only one top? I've I've seen a bit of a side boob, but uh, the hole that I found it didn't let me get a good view of. There we go. Someone called the cops. Ichi is peeping as Tom has confessed. I playfully patted Ichi's shoulder as I turn around, grab him my back in the process and prepare to leave. Thanks for the tip, Ichi. I'll let the judge know where the most po helpful during the interrogation. It's unfair. I was concerned. No. I would say another word until I speak with my lawyer. Once school was over, I decided to take my chance with a little bit of intel I have managed to obtain from my classmate. If memory served me right, Aya Senpai would be 
practicing at the dojo today. Of course I knew her. She was a judo student just like myself, but for whatever reason she has been refusing to compete in any tournament for a while now. Arya Senpai, are you around? I shouted her name as I parked my bike, looking around for any sight of the girl. Yeah, that. Yeah. Follow the shouts and you will find her. I grinned briefly as I saw Arya seemingly in the mid seemingly in the middle of practicing a series of motions, almost as if she has was fighting an imaginary opponent. Perhaps now was the perfect opportunity so to surprise her a little. <laughs> I was not closer, making sure to make as little noise as possible before I reached my hands towards her shoulder. Aya. Feeling her hand on her shoulder, Aya reacted. She grabbed hold of my hand, and with a loud grunt, shifted her weight, curling and tipping me over her shoulder. I didn't have time to brace myself for the impact before I hit the ground like a sack of potatoes. Aria. No one sneaks up on the great Kinochi Aya. Ah, Taka boy. I didn't realize it was you. I'm sorry. You okay? Kunoichi? More like the Tasmanian devil. That throw didn't have a shred of mercy in it. There's no mercy in the ring, Taka boy. Better you learn that now and then in two weeks in time. Let me guess. You want to do some sparring, don't you? I actually came here to ask you something, but I guess a little sparring wouldn't hurt. Oh, what do you wanna ask? We've got all afternoon, and I could do with a little bit of a break anyway. Oh, where to start? I used to take part in the big and important matches in the past, right? Don't you ever get nervous before going into the ring? Oh yeah, that one time I got so nervous I hid in the kitchen cupboards until my dad found me and dragged me to the car. Of course it was when I was like eight. Well, obviously I can't go and hide for my match, but one of my friends made the stupid suggestions that I go and pray or something. Honestly, at this point I'll do anything to calm my nerves a little. Taka boy, are you sure about that? You mean the match? Of course, I am. I've been practicing judo ever since I was old enough to work. This is my chance to finally represent this country and the sport I love. Hmm. Aya seemed to think for quite a long time, all the while tapping her jaw with her finger. Eventually she, she snapped her fingers and grabbed a tight hold of me. Alright, alright, I'll tell you the way to the shrine, I know. But it's going to require more than a simple clap of your hands and bob your head. You need to give something to the shrine, something of value. I guess I'll have to think of something before we get there. Thanks, Empire. I appreciate the help. We? Oh no, Taka boy. I'm not going with you. I got training to do. Besides, you got to take this step yourself. I can draw you a map and show you an easy way to get back here, but you'll be on your own. Okay. You are not tagging along? Not even for a little while? I afraid so, take a boy. Just let me grab some of the paper, I'll draw a map for you. After all years return, quick preparations were made, and I followed the directions noted down on the map. Surprisingly, it wasn't all that far. However, the hint on how to find my way back in case I got lost was a bit sketchy. Just look down and you'll be able to see the roof of the dojo from anywhere on the hill. The forest near the dojo was my first challenge to overcome. A narrow path coiled up during the trees, and nearby was the river Iji's sister had mentioned. I followed Aya's scribbles a bit with a bit of scarcity, but after an hour or so, I finally arrived at a supposedly legendary shrine. Uh -huh, uh -huh. The shrine itself seemed surprisingly well maintained despite being in the middle of nowhere. 
It made me wonder if someone could be secretly be living there. Perhaps some secret martial arts master. The thought of a hermit living in hiding within a shrine in order to prepare himself for an upcoming battle between good and evil started to dwell in my mind. Yeah, that sounds about cool. I guess that's too good to be true though. I sighed in annoyance at the fact that, aside from the shrine itself, the crown surrounded it seemed completely abandoned. There was no way anyone could be living here. Oh cool, we can even... Quick save. For the time being, I've decided to focus on the reason behind my visit. It only took a few moments before I gathered the courage to approach the building. Once inside, I found a rather fancy looking altar of sorts at the back of the room. Mm -hmm. I guess this is the th thing everyone's been talking about. Silently, I folded up the mat I've been given. Putting it inside my bag, I approached the altar. It was, I was kind of skeptical about the whole religious aspect, so I wasn't too sure if this was actually going to work. But hey, why not? I don't even think luck will do much good in a place like this. In my opinion, there wasn't any room for things like luck in martial arts. Judo is all about using the knowledge you have gained through tough training. Of course, a good amount of talent also helps. There was simply no room for something as superstitious as luck. Clearly this was going to be a match where my experience and talent would be pushed to the limit. Nothing more, nothing less. Even by suspicious like pagan gods or something like that. Female voice. How curious the boy doesn't believe in superstition, and yet he stands here surrounded by the very thing he denounces. Upon hearing the voice, I looked around, trying to find the sorters, but there was no one to be seen. Who's there? Quite a cliche question, but the right thing to ask is where am I? What are you talking about? Show yourself! Not yet. Entertain me for a little fight longer, would you? This is a place like no other. Why did you come here? If you do not believe in things such as luck. I came here to prepare myself. Oh, do enlighten me about this. Something might be that you are preparing yourself for. I felt a little bit annoyed that the question continued, but maybe if I kept talking to her, I would be able to find out where she was hiding. I'm preparing for a tournament, a judo match. Judo? What might that be? Seriously, you don't know what judo is? It's a highly skilled combat art. Ah, so you are very uh, hesitant to go into battle? And came here in hope to finding the resolve to fight. I'm not sure about the varial part. How fortunate. It just so happens that there is a need for one of your kind. My kind. A hero. This shrine brings fortune to heroes such as yourself. However, every great hero must sacrifice something in return. Sounds like what other mentions. Your version sounds better though. Laughing briefly as the stories, I decided to play, play along and clap my hands together in prayer. So, so what's next? Do I offer my allowance or something? Don't be silly. Money is of little importance to a hero. For you, the sacrifice will be something of much greater value. I'll be looking forward to seeing what destiny has in store for you. As if on cue, I began to feel nauseated the moment Skills Watch reached my ears and my head spinning wildly. Slowly, I staggered backwards, collapsing onto my back. As my vision grew blurry, the sounds of my approaching footsteps could be heard. <gasps> oh! 
Oh, shite. Good luck, hero. You're going to need it. <gasps> this is the wrong kind of hotel. Despite my attempts to get back up, I all I managed was a brief look at the girl. So far, so nice. The sight of the horns and tail left many questions, but before I had the chance to utter even a single word, my consciousness succumbed to darkness. Oh yeah, they are horns. Dot dot dot. Dot 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 dot. Dot 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 dot. Rays of sunlight stirred me back to life. A groan of annoyance lived in my mouth while I tried to get back on my feet. I felt a bit dizzy, but the first thing I noticed was that I was no longer at the shrine. Instead, I looked at the forest near the dojo. Of course, my first thought was to look around to see if I could find the girl from before, but not a trace of her presence remained. To make things... Uh, sorry. Even stranger. The path that I followed, amidst the trees, seemed better maintained than I remembered. I should probably head home. That thought was cut short when the sound of uh, several female voices could be heard nearby. Get back here! Hey, catch! Stop then at once! Just what I think where I'm going. I'm chasing them. I'm trying to stop them. Yeah. I think they notice what's missing, one summer. Keep running, my little one. And we might just make it. Just when I thought this day couldn't be get any weirder, the sound of heavy footfalls could be heard never. Holy smokes! What's in the world is going on here? I see balls flying by. Uh, I mean... For their head. I saw a couple of girls in fast pursuit of even more girls. However, there was something off about the scene. Something that didn't make any sense. Mm, mm, maybe it's the fox ears. The girls are being cheese had ears and the tail of an animal. And the pursuers appeared to be armed with Kantana and Naginata. Yeah, intense shit. You convinning fox, come back here at once. Return what you stole immediately. Give me back my panties. Ooh, the panties? Hikaija, how could you say something out loud like that? <laughs> panties, panties. Oh no, help, save us from the rampaging woman. Huh? <laughs> As I watched the girls run away, I couldn't help but find myself struggling with the decision to just leave them be. While I didn't know what in the world was going on, the two girls armed with rather realistic looking props, surely they couldn't be real, had me worried. I could very well have calmed myself here if I let something like this go by without acting. Yeah, I'm a hero, I'm a man, I have needs, I need to uh, step in. I'm going to regret this. Mumbling in annoyance, I chased after the girls. Hey, Kesh, go to the left. Right. I said left. Why do you always undermine me? I, I wasn't saying right. I was, I know, never mind. Just run after them. As I was chasing the girls, I noticed that the trees seemed to be getting dense now. Making it gradually more difficult to navigate along the path. I don't even see the paths, I just see a uh, cleavage. Oh there. Only summer. I don't think I can rush more. Wow, I'm starting to feel a bit. Uh, just a little bit longer, Mako son. We are almost. Mako! Mako, not that. Not now! Sorry, oh Sam. Meh. Scissor attack! Scissoring? Really? This shit is intense. I arrived just in time to find the scene taken straight from the action movie. The girl with the blonde hair had collapsed, held in a compact, uh, companion's protective embrace. The two armed girls were approaching them, almost unmistakably with killing instincts running amok. Any seasoned martial artist would have felt it. 
Those girls were going to be in for a beating if I didn't stop them. We got you now, thieves. I'm going to personally drag you there. Uh, sorry about back to town to have you both put out on the stocks. Maybe I'll even show you how it feels to run around without any undies on. Yeah, although I must admit, having a priest down there just f f what l l Yeah, TMI, TMI, little one. Hey, catch goodness, don't you have any shame. This isn't about you, this is about uh, your undergarments. Stolen. These uh, two criminals are just being brought to justice because why not? Only summer. It hurts. My head hurts. Shh, go and be a gay little one. Hey guards, if you're so desperate to have your underwear back, then there, catch. Stop it right there. However, before I was able to interrupt the conversation, the silver-haired girl tossed something into the air. Whatever it was, it was flying straight towards my head. The two samurai girls instantly grew flustered. I can't see who the hell tosses this. Peeling the items off my fares, I raised them into the air, looking like a professor examining an important symbol, while the thieves made their escape. A pink bra and lacy black panties, hmm, for my collection. Oh boy, I knew this wasn't going to end well. Ah, you there. Y are you with the cahoots with these crafty foxes? And hand do those back immediately. Those are evidence of a crime and not for anyone else to touch. Drop the panties right now. You wish? I'm innocent until proven guilty. This is one of the golden rules in court. Just stop pointing those weapons at me so I can hand over your uh, undies without being turned into a shish kebab. Wait, no. Stop. Shut up. Just drop the evidence and walk away. I'm Tuzumiyo, chief of the village guard, and I'm ordering to drop what you're holding right now. She's the chief. Aren't you a little small to be guard? <laughs> I don't know any of the village guards, but I seriously doubt the cop would go around dressed like that and wielding a katana. More importantly, the ground here is muddy and dirty. Are you sure you, I could drop the evidence here? I mean, I could, but. Uh, yeah! Before I could react, the pink hair girl lunged towards me, the pointy end of an agiata aiming for my gut. My reflexes caught on just in time and I was able to palm away the spear as it sailed through the air. I struck upwards to the wooden shaft of the weapon, sending it up through the air and causing the girl to lose a balance. Naomi, I did not order you to attack. Fine, fine, I give it them back, jeez. Just my luck to find a bunch of crazy girls with weapons. Extending the hand to help that had the undies, I tried to hand them over, something that I would uh, soon end up regretting. Uh, is the stream still on it? It's showing? Hmm. Sorry, I just have to check.
Uh, it's just the the chat app is acting up again. Logging into Twitch is wonky shit. So where were we? Ha! Ah, do you think we fought for something so simple? Fool! You may have fooled me, but I won't let it ever happen again. This weapon. The woman swung her weapon wide, arcing, arcing the thick wooden pole into my side before I could dodge. She then lunged bo forwards and grabbed my, me tightly, pulling my arms around behind my back, leaving me with sore rims in a, in a prone position. I could have fought back, but I figured I would only lead to more fighting. With the possibility of ending up stabbed, I decided to remain passive. The sword wielding girl stepped forward and grabbed my Sigi unaware from my hand triumphantly. Hm, your matters might be crude, but they do get results, hey Kitch. Tie him up. We'll bring him in for questioning. He probably knows more of those pesky thieves we are hiding. Right. And people will wonder why criminals want to arrest all at all costs. I mumbled this week weekly as the girl with the Nagia tried to together my rope and soon felt myself dragged the dude towards the city. Surely, once we are out of the falls, you too will stop this act of yours and let me go right. As much as I like to f fool around, I have much more important things to do. The city? Ha! Huh. We're not taking you all the way there. We'll be spending the night in the village, Salch, see you. Who are you calling thief? I'm the victim. First I get undies tossed to my face and I had to deal with physical abuse and now these accusations. Besides, there's no village around these parts. It's a city. You know, Sunu Toshi. Silence, Hikach. If he speaks again before we get to Lewis, you have my permission to knock him unconscious. Thunder tyrant. <laughs> That's funny. And that's how I ended up on my way to a jail cell, cuffed and dragged by two girls, both who are stated to suspect the crit. Ah. Well, so far this has been disturbing. Let's uh, save here for whatever. Um, but I do have seen enough. And for the sake of the children, there will be more to be seen. But not on my stream. Not on my stream. Uh, give it a 6 out of 10 would fab. Yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely. Whew, got this son. Damn it. Until next time, I wish you a nice day.